makes them feel like we did our job. Man. I mean, we got people coming behind us, you know what I'm saying, want to be like Gilbo, want to be like Slow, or be like Joe, or be like T, and start a music career and, and push the envelope of uh, Atlanta music. Because, I mean, we were just inducted in the Georgia Music Hall of Fame, you know what I mean? So, we definitely got, uh, we definitely got insight on you know, so what's been going on, because we've been in the game for like 25 years, it's our 25th year anniversary of Soul Food, and our 23rd year anniversary of Steel Stack. So with that being said, man, anybody coming out of Atlanta want to look to somebody, because we, we had to look to motherfuckers in New York, you know what I mean? We had to look to, to, the, to the West Coast, we had to look to everywhere else but Georgia. So now people coming by Atlanta right now, they don't have to look to New York. To to want to to want to be able to rap, you know what I'm saying? They can look at folk in their backyard. You know, when something is recorded, you know, it's in real time, and so you know, um, the music is a reflection of that, the realities that we were living. You know, and, it, um, and that reality was um, was we were in a transitional state. You know what I mean? Like we were going from young adolescent, you know what I mean? Um, you know, young black men in Atlanta, Georgia. You know what I mean? Um, Fighting the same circumstances, the same obstructions in the way, systematic oppression, racism, uh, and so on and so forth. You know what I mean? And uh, these things you cannot ignore. I mean, like, and sometimes people want their music to be a means of escapism, but I think we chose um, to be a, a more direct means of communicating, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, where we were at the time and where we wanted to go. And I think honesty is the truth that will always prevail. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, honesty does, doesn't age. The truth is the truth. The truth right. is immortal. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Um, you know, it's, <laughs> it's lies that they have to keep getting told until we can keep getting refreshed. Right. You know, good. the truth doesn't need a hard reset. You know what I'm saying? Good. Lies do. That's good. That's good. So, um, how y'all feel about hip hop music right now? Like in 2021? Love. You love it? Yeah. Who's on your playlist? Uh, Money Bag, yo. Usual shit. NBA young boy. Uh, I like that Kodak Black. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready to do. You know who I like? I like Playboy Cardi. Playboy Cardi. I really love Playboy Cardi. What's up, my brother? No, I'm saying Playboy Cardi. He one of them because he that Rich the Kid. I love Rich the Kid. Uh, Gunner. Uh, you gotta get up for Two Chain. Man, he's standing out there for us. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. uh, young Thug. Young Thug. Travis Scott. Yeah, Travis Scott. What about Young ATL? Well, like, who, who, who's the voice in Atlanta right now? The baby. Definitely. It's a folk on the come up too. Y'all just ain't really heard of it. Right. It's a little boy named Chig. And it's um, some boys named Earth Game. They down with Dreamville and J. Cole. Yeah. So they definitely got, they definitely coming up out of Atlanta with some of that, uh, come on, some I'm of that Dr. Dr. Yeah. 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 I mean, you know, the biggest thing about the music, Business is that it is a business. Outside of what we do on stage, outside of creating songs, it's still a business side to this. And one thing that good enough, I think we have shown people that if we didn't have business, it would be another story. You wouldn't be talking to us for 25 years later. So with that being said, I'm just saying that anything that you want to do, study. Anything that you anything that you want to create, create it. But you gotta also put the time in. You know, one thing about being a creative, sometimes nobody else in your dream with you. So, with that being said, always believe in what you're going to do, but also going through some education. The way to beat your enemy always is to go learn something else. So, that's the reason why I say when you say, when I say bring it to the table, the, less, the more you know, the less you better ask for, that's, that, that, that's the biggest part of this game. Because once you sign these contracts and take these money, you got to know what the deal is behind it. Now, if you got a couple of folks in, and then you didn't know in them contracts that said that you just signed your life away from them folks in, hey, man, it's nobody's job to tell you. You can't break it once you sign the contract. So that's the reason why I say study what you want to be. Be more than just a artist. Be more than just a creator. Understand the business. Understand how to get paid. Learn. 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 You can not only just want the privilege, but you have to also want the responsibility. You feel? You know what I mean? That's good. Anything that you want to do, you know what I mean? Like create, offer, and contribute, you're going to have to be responsible for it. You know what I mean? Right. Right. So what's next with video? Y'all just dropped the album, right? Y'all survival kid. 
my okay, or the national anniversary, you know what I'm saying, last year, November 13th. It's expect everything. Um, we're about to get ready to really do something, man. This year, y'all gonna be seeing a little bit more of a goodie one, you know what I mean? Because you can't really fit a 25 year run and a two hour show or a two hour movie or a 60, 60 minute interview. It's not gonna be able to do that. So you can make a track out there because you're gonna have to. You gonna have to see this whole thing, man. Because you know it's the beginning, man. Y'all need to know that. Yeah. You really know it from the horse's mouth how this shit really started. Okay, a couple more. We're gonna wrap. What's your favorite song to Goody Mob song to listen to and perform? Was it the same or? Special education. Favorite to listen. You know how about that special education? Really? To listen to that's your favorite to listen to. Goody Mob. Yeah. Good song. Mm. Good song. That's like, it's just some of our friendship, our whole legacy, our movement, our mission. That's everything. It touched my soul every time I hear it. Shout out. Shane? Uh, I would say right now, new record, man, for my people. Mm. Just my dope record right now, because I feel like we, again, we going good. against what everybody is doing. Come and on. Everything that I'm saying, I think it's gonna still resonate 20 years from now. For me, I like to um, I like to perform Black Ice. Yeah. We just said that another interview the other day. Love that rap. That's one. I like that. One of the songs I like to listen to is I Refuse Invitations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was that long verse. Like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm one of the artists. I don't listen to too much at my own. You don't. You know what I mean? Like, I don't. You know what I mean? Like, I don't. And I, th- I thought it was something like a weird quirk or something like that, you know. Uh, but I saw um, an interview with Johnny Depp, and never he was like, you know, he had never watched it. Yeah. I'm like, why you never watch Pirates of the Caribbean? None of it. Yeah. He's like, I've never seen it. Yeah. You Somebody know, else like, was like that, like Leonardo. If you could imagine it for a moment, it's, it's a real helpless kind of because if you, you know you're going to be your own worst critic, right? Yeah. Because so yeah. things that we did in 1995, we could we could obviously do them better now. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, but it's no going back. You know, can't change yeah. the history, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, fortunately, people was able to embrace it for what it was at that time, you know what I mean? But I look at them like technically and stuff, I'm like, ah, I could be that, 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 yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, I did pick on it too much, so I don't enjoy it. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Is that weird? Did you, you say the same one as T-Mo? Oh, no. I tell you a song that I really like. It's called uh, The Big Experience. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Of course, it's this, that, and that. That's what C-Lo just, just got down, just blanked out, just went all yeah. the way in. You yeah. know what I mean? Really giving the definition of the nigga experience. You right. know what I mean? About us being niggas right. in, in the South where we are. You know what I mean? I just thought, man, that song's so goddamn hard, man. And uh, Sesame Street. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sesame Street. Yeah, we do. Good deal. Good deal. Uh, Look, man, Mississippi, we thank y'all for the love over the years. We really appreciate y'all being, appreciate y'all, excuse me. Big Sam, we, we, we see y'all movement until like, we are you guys as allies, we are y'all calling. We said if y'all ever need to call on us for anything, we said like, we'll come running. We said we are the almighty good that we represent Dungeon Family. DF to the very last breath. Big Gip, Seba, Kujo, OG, t It is what it is, man. So if you don't get to don't worry about it, here we go. I do it for my people, like David, Digga Lyons.